Ну что, hello people, what's up everybody, welcome to another episode, Bud Nixon here, thanks for visiting, on today's story we're gonna cover the update on the drawer and the stereo thing that's been happening in that thing. So QX4 or Nissan Pathfinder R50, um, that's what's going on lately. Um, if this is to your interest, please share, like, subscribe, comment, and whatnot. Ring the bell. Uh, I'm pointing to just air thing, right? So anyways, uh, welcome to the channel. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about it. So the drawer system. This is how it's looking. It's as deep as the bottom of the floor. I've removed everything to make sure I'm figuring out the mounting holes and I'm having to utilize these two here, same ones two there. One, two, three here, so that's five. And then I'm putting two more here. So seven, seven bolts will hold down this box. The box is roughly 30, opa, not to break it. Roughly 37 by 31 deep. Um, the side wings, as I, I, I call them, or I'm not sure if that's what everybody else calls them, uh, they're removable. They're going to be um, attached by screws. And then I made these aluminum cover plates that will hold my electrical and compressor. Uh, all the plugins, USB and 12 volt for extra charging your batteries for your cameras and whatnot. Uh, a separate line will go back there for a fridge slide. Oh, and it's a two two hand job, but anyways, this is a fully extendable 30 inch out uh, that is under mount because I want to be able to fit in the fridge with the least amount of space lost. Uh, the next thing is going to be a dual drawer here. It's going to be the upper pantry with a slide out for the uh, for the stove. I'm waiting on the stove to come in. Um, this one I'm just matching the other side and I think this will be a good mounting plate to fit certain things in. Now keep in mind that the drawer system comes out about here and then offsets probably another two inches. So I have about, I'm gonna say about four to five, maybe even six inches of space right here. So I can still put things up in here. I'm not sure if I covered these things um, on the last video. I'm able to make more if anybody interested you'd have to dm me about it uh, find me on social media via uh, instagram or facebook or whatever um obviously for myself i mean they are bigger for adventure ready logo but i'll i'll make it much smaller in here and have more space for other things um it attaches just with these aluminum tabs in my opinion this is strong so i mean i'm pulling on this and as you can see just barely any flex happens and keep in mind that anything that you mount on here, it has to be reasonably large. So this meant for flashlights, uh, like a shovel, foldable shovel, med kit, um, I don't know, your jumper cable bag, just smaller, not such large items. Plus you don't wanna block the view on the passenger side as much. The driver's side, you can block as much as you want because it doesn't really make a difference. Um, because when you're looking, you're not really paying attention to these two windows, by the way, in case you never knew that. Um, anyways, but this is a 16 gauge aluminum. Yeah, it has a little uh, rack rattle to it, but keep in mind, once you mount a couple of things in here, it'll make it more rigid um, and um, it'll be actually used for this purpose. So it does not have to be strong because the force is really just very little per se um, of what items are gonna be there. And the main goal is to protect um, your duffel bag or whatever gear that's going to be on top of the drawer system or on top of your tubbies if you're using that kind of setup where you put tubs in here and then put your bags on top um, from uh, rolling out uh, a duffel bag I've seen the cases where some guys have upper fridges the fridge would lean in and actually crack the window open uh, or you're talking about like a camp chair or I bet you even a duffel bag with the right size uh, zipper on it that's metal and if it impacts with the right time with the right side it will shatter the window so basically this is to keep things you know and we got um i don't know i'm gonna say inch and a half maybe of spacing um, in my case the side wings that i'm that i've made 
will go pretty much tight on the side. So in my case, this is how it's gonna be. They're gonna lean like this. And I think this will be perfect. So, so I'm not worried about the rattle or whatever. So, cool stuff would be to go on next is the video. We're running a camera signal here. Again, power supply. A lot of guys are like, dude, are you going to be jumping, using jumper cables off this? This is a four gauge wire. I ran my own setup here. This is going to get fused to the front, but the wires are running both ground and positive are running uh, front to back. Um, this thing has gotten a real nice front eye right where the emblem is or the logo. So this is going to be the front view camera. And the stereo, oh man, was this a fight or an argument or whatever you want to call it. So this thing got a GPS antenna that we put in. And let's see if I can make it work. This is going to be exciting. I can't remember, I believe the front camera is already hooked up, so it should be working. I guess Adele is something that's uh, part of the package here. Let's see if I can make it work. Believe it or not, I'm still learning. And for some reason we have no sound. Am I missing something? No, we got sound. So, for purposes of not having to worry about copyrights and such let's go to menu and i think we can go to ox one which will give us the front view of the camera so here you go the frontal view of the camera and i need to adjust and play with the leveling of it a little bit more obviously um, but generally i just want to be able to see things how they will look and i'm again trying playing out you know with the cameras and obviously the image is flipped right now because we have the white section of the house on the other side and this is the other side. So there's wires you can cut on the cameras. So, but this thing is working. Um, it did utilize a uh, an adapter pack to uh, match the Bose system for the amplifiers because there's an amplifier in this door and there's an amplifier in the rear quarter panel. Um, but overall, I'm going to say I'm happy with how things are looking. I'm still figuring out. I'm not a very friendly on Android because I'm an iPhone user. Uh, but this thing has a pretty much an Android uh, brain in it. Well, this is Android 10, I believe. So um, you can go into various things and such and figure out how they're going to be working for you. I did not figure out how to get the, the steering control to work. But in my case, I plan to replace the steering wheel to another... Um, aftermarket setup where i'm going to remove this stuff anyways and i really don't care for the buttons because i can use them here this thing will allow you to do uh wireless uh airplay which is nice and as you look here so we go to the settings so this is just like the regular android tablet seven inch screen i think is pretty good um generally i'll be able to run my maps so like gaia google maps you can run it all from here without actually using the mirroring to your phone but which would make it nice so that's the story for now i don't know what else to tell you we're working on this project next is to wrap up the cabinetry which my goal is to have carpeting in the facial front, front facial frontal area, or like this view, the flat view of the frontal view. Uh, I wanna do like a speaker carpeting and probably just paint everything like a heavy bed liner spray paint. So as I was saying, um, the paint will be probably a bed liner kind. I like this one here, which is basically a uh, truck bed pro grade rust home spray can which is which has been good to me um i've done bumpers sliders with it 
roof rack, anything that needs to be painted, pretty much that will take care of it. And um, funny thing is today, actually, I just realized as I had the cut on the video, the stove, we'll talk about that next time, which is going in there. Once the stove is done, the drawers will do another video. But for now, this is how it's looking. Beautiful day today. I'm gonna start wrapping up some things. I might still redo this because it, this came out kind of tight, in my opinion. I wanna give them a little bit, maybe uh, space a little bit here, or just do it some other time. So we'll see anyways. For now, this is the concept. This is the idea for a prototype, and I think it's coming out good. So thanks for watching. And I guess uh, until the next video. Thanks, guys.